Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have another engine bay part to install. Now it's not actually the part that I was going to be doing next because we've just had a new part released from Evolution by Design. Um, you guys who watch my videos should know Evolution by Design well. I have run a bunch of their products, um, really well made. And as you can see, we have the finalized released version of the Evo 10 intake heat shield. Now, here's everything we got. We'll go over that in a second, but just thought I would show you guys. If you guys are new to the channel or haven't seen my previous videos, um, this is actually the prototype of that released version. So um, myself and Letitia are actually running the prototype version at the moment. Um, Letitia's like there was two different versions. Basically this one that I run is sort of more to suit an intake that comes to this angle. Um, whereas the teacher runs the ETS intake, which kind of puts the pod filter a um, little bit more angled like this. So hers is more to suit that style. Um, rather than releasing the two different versions, um, Evolution by Design have actually made it so that it suits both. So we'll see how that all works. Um, but yeah, so this is the prototype. Um, I was going to keep it. I was going to actually um, get it like hydro dipped carbon fiber or powder coated wrinkle black to suit the other um, Evolution by Design products I have. But after seeing that finally the released version is out, I thought, why not just pick that one up? Um, I have this one as a spare that I can sell or just keep. And yeah, I also, I really like supporting the local companies that support the local car scene and are you know making products for this platform so yeah I thought I'd pick one of those up so that's what we're going to be doing today so we'll be pulling that one off so I'll show you how to do and I'll show you how to install this new one really easy to do it's going to take a few minutes um, but as you can see it comes with everything you need so this is the heat shield itself so we have the two plugs there which are these two plugs so it actually comes with everything you need you get a sticker some instructions um, this bolt will go down in here, which actually mounts into the factory. Um, it's a bracket for the factory airbox. So if you have a factory airbox, this will go straight in its place basically and get your pod filter, get your intake set up. Um, and then yeah, this bit of conduit, not sure what you'd call this, that will go around here to make the factory snorkel click in and sit snug because that's the benefit of this system is that you retain the factory snorkel, which I actually have underneath this APR tray. So air will come in, whether it's um, just through the factory areas here in the, in the mesh. Uh, I also obviously have the FQ400 vent, which you can see, probably you can see, I'm not sure, but you can see the pod filter through there. So air is going straight through, goes into the factory snorkel and then pops out here. So. Yeah, really nicely designed setup. I've actually tested it against uh, on Letitia's car and on mine actually, just using the Torque Pro app to read the intake temps and it actually makes a big difference, um, especially with the SST. Um, you have a lot of, down the bottom, a lot of hot air sort of comes up from the air conditioning and from the SST. So with this, as you can see, it goes out. So yeah, really nice bit of system. Um, that said, let's get into how we install this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to, need to do is remove, if you have the factory um, radiator shroud cover, whatever you want to call it, um, or if you have the APR one, which you have either way, if you don't run one at all, then easy. But, so you'll have to pull this off. So we get these plugs out. So we pull that one off and sit that out of the way. So then, as you can see, I have the factory um, snorkel, whatever you like to call it. So you'll have to remove that as well. So if you have like an, a different aftermarket intake that isn't running this, um, I'd highly recommend trying to get this system. So you get your factory snorkel um, back and run this sort of heat shield. 
So we'll pull that one off as well. So now we need to get our prototype intake heat shield off. So to do that, we'll remove the pod filter. It's gonna have one bolt down there. You can see to put like a dress up bolt down there. Um, and then we have the two rubber grommets and we actually have new ones that have come with the kit. So, okay, so let's just get this pod filter off. Really wish I had have actually headed out and grabbed a new fresh pod filter. I was going to do that when I installed this heat shield. Um, just because this one is blue, as you can see, to match my blue theme. But it's actually really faded. Um, normally it's like a bright kind of blue. Um, but yeah, this one has faded a lot, so I would like to get a new one. They're cheap enough, K and N filters. Um, but yeah, this one has actually quite got itself quite stuck on here. So I'm just going to put the camera down, use both hands, and pull this pod filter off. And then we will just have normally a 10 mil bolt down there, but I've actually got a dress up bolt down there, which I should actually replace with a titanium bolt if I can find one in that size spare. So that. Come undone. So now it's now going to be loose. Now uh, we've just got the rubber grommets down in there. So yeah, let me pull this guy off and we will be able to get our actual intake heat shield off. Okay, pod filter off. We already removed that bolt. So now this should just lift off. I'm just trying to scratch my titanium piping. Okay, so this one. Let's compare the two. Okay, so as you can see, it no longer has this bend here, um, which is a big reason why I changed it, because in the light, um, you could actually see the bend. So this is a bit nicer. Um, this one's a bit lighter, being the prototype. But yeah, this is properly powder coated, not just a a rough paint job done by me that I then repainted in gloss black because I grabbed the wrong can, but otherwise it's very similar. So not as tall, but I always didn't think it needed to be quite this tall. Um, but more importantly, it's taller in this back section and it is the same width going out. So yeah, much nicer piece altogether, but obviously not many people are gonna be running this one anyways. Like I said, it's a, a pre-release version that um, Evolution by Design let me run for a while to test out. So yeah, um, I'm pretty much gonna say any intake heat shield that you're currently using in your Evo 10 or Rally Art, if you have an aftermarket intake, any that you have, is this is gonna be a big improvement um, and looks a lot nicer. You can also then powder coat this any color you'd like. Um, I'm just gonna leave it black for now, but yeah, so let's open up the um, bag with our bolt and um, rubber grommets. Uh, we'll also get ourselves a sticker. And yeah, let's um, set this up. Okay. Our evolution by design sticker, our bolt, two grommets. Okay, so this piece is taped on by the looks of it. Hopefully, you guys can see that. So, yeah, this would just be stuck on. Um, I don't think I'm going to run that as I didn't on the prototype one. It's stuck in there fine. Um, it's very simple to install obviously, but just to make it even easier, there is a set of instructions. So we'll, we'll possibly use this, um, but we'll see how it is without it. We'll put it on afterwards. 
So yeah, very detailed instructions. Obviously pretty simple to do. But first thing is you need to install the grommets. Um, so they're actually different to the ones that I'm running. I don't think the ones that I had were the OEM ones. I just grabbed some that I had sitting around. That's a, yeah. Throw these in. I'm not sure which way they're going to go. Super easy to do. Let's take this though over to the car. is going to be my first issue is that my catch can is a little bit in the way so we're going to have to somehow move this or get this to sit on top which it should do so I'll just need two hands to sort of um, shuffle everything and yeah lift this slightly up while I slide this underneath okay guys so with a little bit of adjusting, managed to get it in. So this was, only issue was if you're running the radium catch cans, especially if you're running the dual catch cans. So obviously you have one over there, one over here. Um, to be honest, this one isn't really as needed because I get really nothing goes into this one. Um, but if you are running it, it's a little bit tight. You just have to kind of lift it, slide this into place. But as you can see, it's, it's there, it's fitting perfectly. And worst case scenario, what I was going to do is just unbolt these two bolts here, put it like a washer or two underneath, and it would have lifted this whole item up a little higher. But yeah, that is now ready to go. Rather than using the supplied bolt, I just had this black bolt, um, this spare one. So I'm just going to run this. All right, I'll slide this back on. Just want to quick tighten up, put everything back together. But you can see just how much air it is still letting through. Okay, so just quickly, um, so yeah, I've connected the factory snorkel in. Um, I'm happy enough with that. I don't think I need to put the little bit of um, adhesive in there to hold it all together. So that sits fine. You can see the clips on the factory snorkel actually click through and they hold that in place. Also, there's no gap. So all the air that's gonna come through here is going to go straight into your intake. So yeah, that's, that all is going to work. Um, I'll grab our ABR tray or if you have the factory cooling tray. Um, if you have the factory one, it's going to sit perfectly. If you have the APR one like I have, um, I did make a video previously showing that how you can sort of get this to fit together because normally you can't run this snorkel with the APR tray on top because it does have this ridge here. So you can see my really rough job at cutting that down and almost cutting through the whole thing. But once you do that, you can run both. I honestly think this is the ultimate Evo 10 intake setup. Um, you've got the cold air coming straight in through the FQ vent. Um, as you can see, the airflow sending it into this factory snorkel, which then is going through this heat shield into the intake. So, like, that is a really nice setup. And now, what we're left with is our completed intake heat shield install. So I think this looks a lot better than even the prototype one, but looks so much better than many of the other intake heat shield options. Um, that is super neat. doesn't come up too high. Uh, really nice wrinkle black finish. And yeah, look at this whole area that is just letting the cold air in, stopping the hot air from coming up from underneath. Um, yeah, really happy with this. Well worth the price that I paid, even though I already had a similar setup. I just, yeah, 
I wanted this finished piece. So yeah, I'm stoked with it. Um, so I will have a link to this in the description. Um, all the Evolution by Design parts are available through AK Racing. Um, they are their distributor. So um, I'd really appreciate if you guys would support both those companies. They're both local companies to me and they've really helped me out a lot in the past. Um, as I said, I run a bunch of Evolution by Design products, run a bunch of AK Racing products. And yeah, both companies are doing great things for the Evo 10 Rally Art and just Lancer um, platforms in general, both bringing out parts. I um, always appreciate it when a company is, you know, just trying to actually focus and make parts for our platform because, yeah, as you know, there is so much aftermarket support for the Evo 10 and there's more parts coming out. It is really great to see. So, um, yeah, like I said, link will be in the description. If you are in um, a country other than Australia and you'd like to get this shipped, um, on AK Racing's website, they don't actually have international shipping set up on the website, but they do ship internationally. They ship parts all across the world every day. So if you would like to get it, um, just go onto the website, you can see the pricing and everything. Um, bear in mind, it's in Australian dollars. So if you're in the US, for example, um, our dollar is a lot weaker. So if this is $140 Australian, then it's going to be uh, much cheaper for you to buy. And then you'll just have to pay the shipping, which yeah, once you convert all the price over, um, from Australian dollar to US dollar, you'll be surprised at how cheap this item will be. But yeah, like if you're in any other country, send AK Racing an email um, or a message. They will, with your address, and they'll get back to you with a shipping quote, and then you can just make a payment through PayPal and get this item or any other pieces on the way. I would say, highly recommend, if you're buying this, also grab the firewall heat shield back there. As you can see, it looks a lot better than the factory um, sort of silver one. Um, and yeah, many other parts they make, they're all great. Anything you need. I have videos on a lot of their stuff, so uh, check some of those. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yes, yeah, it's a quick, easy install, but something I highly recommend. Um, yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up down below and yeah, let me leave me a comment. Actually, what I'll say, anyone who's been watching right to the end, the channel's growing pretty well. I think by the end of this year, we should be able to hit 5,000 subscribers. If we hit 5,000 subscribers this year, I'm going to give one of you guys one of these. I'll post it to you anywhere in the world, free of charge. We're going to have to hit 5,000 subscribers first. So. Let's hope we get there. Um, leave a comment down below if you are interested in entering that draw and say, I would love one of those intake heat shields because A, that'll help the channel because the comments obviously help. But also let me know how many of you guys actually did watch to the end and would like to win one of these. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.